Good morning, y'all. It's like so nice outside right now. It is a little on the windy side, so I apologize in advance if you get ruffles of wind, but I did try to find a section that was a little more sheltered than where I actually wanted to sit. How are you guys doing today, first and foremost? I am doing pretty well today. Has started out good. It literally just started, so I can't say it's like really started out good, but it started out good. And um, I'm looking forward to everything I planned today. Once I'm done out here, I'm actually gonna go ahead inside, make breakfast, and also start scripting out a video. Yeah, my videos are gonna have to be scripted now. And at, at first, I always thought that like, when I heard people being like, oh yeah, I'm scripting out my video, I'm like, why, why? But the more I make just vlogs, the more I totally understand the needing for a script. Even if your script is literally just like key bullet points, it's so much more helpful to stay on track than to just, you know, wing it. And while I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can just wing it and like remember what exactly what they need to say, I also totally understand the people who need to like script it out, have their bullet points, and perhaps even use like a literal script. <laughs> I, totally, I totally get that now. Hold on, I'm just gonna let this wind this gust of wind passes by. Okay, so today my coffee is blueberry flavored. And first and foremost, if you know me, I love blueberry coffee. I first discovered blueberry coffee either right before I left for New Hampshire or like when I moved to New Hampshire. And so blueberry coffee just has this very like New Hampshire homey feeling to it. And speaking of New Hampshire, I'm actually bummed I'm not there this time of year and you might be thinking Kayla why the heck would you want to be in New England in March like specifically March and <laughs> great question I'll tell you um it is actually maple festival season in March so it's always nice to kind of have like that spring awakening and like the kickoff to n it not being winter anymore in March because again like you would just drive out to the little stalls and stands and farmsteads and whoever had maple they would be selling their maple stuff whether it was like actual maple syrup or maple candies or maple byproducts. I remember one year I drove out to this one place and they were selling goat soap and if you know me you know I love a good goat milk soap and they were selling their maple syrup that they made in-house and they had like these maple uh cinnamon i can't remember if they were maple cinnamon rolls or just maple rolls but they like were selling their maple rolls which they were like apparently famous for <laughs> um and then once you're already out in like that general area you would just drive drive down the main strip and there would just be signs directing you to other maple activities so that's honestly one of the things i really do miss about New England or New Hampshire in specific because I lived in New Hampshire is just like driving down the road and there was just always a little farmstead always a little farmstead that you could always just like pull up to and I feel like I've talked about this before but I just want to reiterate like that is one of the best things about New Hampshire and if any of my homies from New Hampshire are watching this like just really take advantage of it because I don't know I understood how lucky I was to have it because I didn't have it growing up, but now like being away from it, I understand even more how lucky I was to have that. That's that, love that. So if you're in New Hampshire or New England this time of year and you're sitting there going, I don't know why I'm here in March, it's miserable. It's actually not, just like rent a car and go find your local maple stand. <laughs> because it's actually a really good time. I thought at least. I loved my little New Hampshire adventures. They were the best. The last thing I wanted to talk about was, oh my God, y'all. I can't remember if I talked about this with y'all or if I ever posted it on YouTube, but I receive the Sunday newspaper and only the Sunday newspaper. I have a subscription to the Sunday newspaper specifically for the Star Tribune. And the reason I have if you don't, if you're not from the Twin Cities, there's only two major paper companies that are local, and that's the Star Tribune and the Pioneer Press. I'm pretty sure the Star, Tri Star Tribune is specifically located out of Minneapolis, and the Pioneer Press 
used to be located out of St. Paul. I don't know if their home base is still St. Paul, but that's why like, there's like two major newspaper companies in the Twin Cities is because realistically there's two major cities literally right next to each other in Minnesota. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. I, ha I get the Star Tribune specifically because it has two crossword puzzles in it. It has the Star Tribune crossword puzzle and it has the New York Times crossword puzzle, whereas the Pioneer Press only has one crossword puzzle in it. And if you know anything about Kayla, you know that Kayla is a St. Paul girly through and through growing up. It was always Pioneer Press. It was EU Star Tribune. No. <laughs> so um, the fact that I'm an adult now and I have a subscription to the Star Tribune was shocking, appalling to me. But I need those two crossword puzzles. So if the Pioneer Press, you know, stepped up their game and got two crossword puzzles, I might subscribe. Um, but the whole reason I'm going on this tangent is because I, for a while there, after I had subscribed to the Star Tribune, I haven't only gotten the actual Star Tribune newspaper on Sunday once. Otherwise, it was always just like a mound of Pioneer Press newspapers. I'm just sitting here learning like, okay, is either someone taking my, my Star Tribune or are they just not delivering it? And it got to the point where in my head I was theorizing that maybe there's only one newspaper delivery person and they ran out of Star Tribunes and so now they're just like, dumping off a bunch of Pioneer Press. And I honestly think that was the case because in the past three weeks, I have finally started getting my Star Tribunes. There's like a reporting feature you can use when you log into your account. And it was just like, hey, you missed me. Hey, redeliver it. But you can only do it within like a 24 hour window of Sunday or like whenever your newspaper was missed or needs to be rescheduled. So I reported, I think total of like four, three, four times. And for a while there I was like, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden Star Tribune started popping up and I was like, oh my God. So I got one Star Tribune and it was in the pile of Pioneer Presses. But now what they actually do is they write the apartment number on like the bag. So I know for sure that this Star Tribune bag is specifically for me because it has my apartment number on it. So I don't know if it's a new uh, newspaper person. I don't know if my complaints were sent enough that they were like, hey, we gotta like reorganize this or what, but all I know is I'm getting <laughs> my crossword puzzles and I'm very excited about it. And if you were in my homeroom in high school, you would totally understand because I was always doing the crossword puzzle and I was always doing the Sudoku every single morning in homeroom. I always grabbed a newspaper and I was that's what I did in homeroom, is I did my daily Sudoku and tried to do the crosswords. So nothing has changed much. That's that on that. I think I'm gonna go inside. It's getting like a little chilly. Like it's warm outside, but just like, just windy enough that I can feel the chill. I hope y'all have enjoyed this morning update from outside. Also, I think if I do more of these outdoor updates, I might get like a little, little mic, little lav mic so that uh, we aren't struggling as much with the wind factor. You know what I mean?